Good evening. My name is Mark D'Amico, and I have the honor of serving as the Chief Officer of Curriculum and Leadership for the Greenwich Public Schools. It is with great pride that I present this evening's report on the academic performance of our school system for the 2023-2024 academic year. The achievements and successes we will explore tonight are a direct reflection of the unwavering dedication, professionalism, and tireless efforts of the exceptional educators and leaders within the Greenwich Public Schools. With heartfelt appreciation, I extend a special recognition to the esteemed members of our Board of Education, whose unwavering dedication to the students, families, and staff of Greenwich Public Schools serves as the foundation upon which our success is built. Their tireless commitment and visionary leadership continue to inspire and uplift our entire community. The superintendent's message is provided to acknowledge and celebrate all of the work which is taking place across Greenwich Public Schools, and especially to thank our dedicated staff. We have implemented so many new programs and initiatives over the past five years, and although it has been challenging work, our staff are making a difference in the lives of our students. Our pride continues to grow as excellence abounds. I'm profoundly grateful for the privilege of leading such an inspiring and dynamic team of educational visionaries. Their passion, dedication, and brilliance elevate our mission, and it is truly an honor to stand alongside them in shaping the future of education. It is with great honor that I extend my deepest appreciation to our exceptional K-12 principal team, whose tireless efforts and visionary leadership illuminate the path of success for our students and staff alike. Their unwavering commitment is truly a privilege to acknowledge. This presentation will provide an overview of performance outcomes from three critical summative assessments. First, we will examine results from the Smarter Balance Assessment, administered to students in grades three through eight. Next, we will review performance on the Next Generation Science Assessment, taken by students in grades five, eight, and 11. Finally, we will highlight the achievements of our 11th grade students on the SAT. While the state has discontinued the use of data from district reference groups, we continue to find value in benchmarking our performance against districts with similar socioeconomic profiles, as well as those with higher socioeconomic status. This allows for a more comprehensive assessment of our progress in areas for improvement our presentation will share comparison metrics to our neighbors within Fairfield County. To ensure student privacy, we chose to suppress certain data points that could potentially identify a singular student. Although these data points are valuable, disclosing them may compromise the privacy of individual students, particularly in small cohorts. Our analysis remains comprehensive and provides accurate insights while adhering to legal and ethical guidelines. Two concepts we will discuss during our presentation will be growth rate and APTA. In the strategic plan, we have a 2028 goal of 100% of students meeting their APTA. So how does the Connecticut State Department of Education calculate APTA? Depending on the starting level determined in grade three, each student will have a specific target total they need to achieve in order to maintain or improve to a level three by the end of grade eight. It is our job to make the necessary program and instructional moves to support all students in meeting their yearly APTA. The mission is to help all students move towards mastery as quickly as possible. When we filter the achievement data through a growth lens, it forces a deeper understanding of where each individual student is performing. The ultimate plan is simple. If we can help students to achieve their individual target points year after year, then performance relative to mastery will consequently improve. This year, in the complete redesign of this presentation, I felt it essential to spotlight the individual successes of our schools. Traditionally, we have focused on overall district performance, yet too often overlooked the significant pockets of success that serve as catalysts for momentum, motivation, and positivity within our teaching teams, affirming their extraordinary daily efforts. Research consistently supports the notion that meaningful 
incremental change is driven by small strategic actions, or what some might call atomic habits. It is through these small yet impactful shifts that we can steadily enhance district-wide performance. Moreover, it is critical that we broaden our perspective beyond the aggregate data, taking time to recognize the many small wins happening across our 15 schools. Evidence strongly suggests that the most effective way to improve student outcomes is through sustained investment in professional growth for our educators. By cultivating our teachers' expertise and leadership, we are laying the groundwork for long-term success across the district. At Coscob School, we're proud that 76% of our third graders achieved mastery on the math SBA, and our K-1 students made over a full year of growth on math IXL. We are also among the leaders in the district in student sense of belonging, with 95% of our students and 99% of families feeling welcomed and connected. Our success stems from a focus on strong early literacy programs like Foundations and Hegarty, alongside a positive climate for students, families, and staff. Glenville School has focused on not only just closing the gap in learning, but to have each child thrive. Our scores continue to indicate this growth with over 50% of students scoring at advanced levels in ELA and math. This growth was so apparent that we have been recognized as having some of the top performances in the state of Connecticut. Although we have a high performing staff and students, we still strive each and every day to improve our teaching practices by 1% in an effort to help all of our students excel. And it shows we couldn't be more proud. Hamilton Avenue School is pleased to share impressive satisfaction ratings from staff, students, and families. These results highlight the dedication to providing our community a supportive and engaging educational environment. Staff satisfaction has increased significantly to 87%, emphasizing the commitment to a positive work environment. Student satisfaction is 82.5%, showcasing efforts to create an inclusive and supportive atmosphere. Family satisfaction is 93%, reflecting strong communication and partnership with parents. We are committed to maintaining high satisfaction levels and improving further. At ISD, we are thrilled to announce a remarkable milestone in our ELA performance. For the first time over a four-year trend, both grades four and five achieved 90% or higher on the Smarter Balanced Assessment. This achievement is a testament to the dedication of our teachers the hard work of our students, the implementation of our IB framework, and the commitment to the partnership with our families. In addition to this accomplishment, we are also equally proud of the impressive growth our grade four and five students have achieved in the areas of math and ELA. Julian Curtis is proud of the growth our students have demonstrated in literacy. Our fourth graders showed a 20% improvement in 2024 SBA ELA scores as compared to 2023. Our fifth grade students ranked number eighth in the state with 88.2% of them having met their average point target achieved. Remember I talked about APTA earlier, average point target achieved. JC is also proud of how we foster a school environment that promotes positive relationships and creativity. This is reflected with us exceeding our SIP sense of belonging goal by 6% in the GPS annual student survey. Just as exciting as having 10 of our JC students featured in the Greenwich Times for having created their very own student-led podcast, Soar Eagles Soar. New Lebanon School saw an 11% increase in proficiency on both the reading and math SBA, and parent satisfaction on the homeschool connection composite increased from 95 to 97%. They attribute their gains to a strong focus on close reading, multiple initiatives designed to strengthen students' mathematical reasoning, and monthly family Fridays, during which parents participate in a lesson shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with their child in the classroom. 
The North Miami team is very proud of the work we did in 2023-24. Of particular pride, our K-5 data showing not only growth, but top achievement in the state. As always, our team continues to set new goals. For 2024-25, the team will focus on continued K-3 Dibbles growth, as well as grades 4 and 5 SBA growth. North Street recognizes the importance of continuing to grow all students, including those who are already performing at high levels. Their scores continue to indicate this growth with 58% of students scoring at advanced level four in ELA and 58% scoring at advanced level four in math. They are also very proud of their extremely positive and supportive environment where parents are truly their partners in learning. Old Greenwich School is proud to share a strong statewide ranking in ELA achievement and growth for grades three through five. This success comes on the heels of a strong focus on close reading and targeted explicit comprehension instruction. Staff and students saw cohort growth from third to fourth grade and fourth to fifth grade respectively. Parkway School continues to see improvement on a three-year trend in both ELA and math achievement. That trend correlates to exceptional rates of growth in both math and reading. Parkway has targeted Dibbles and GPS benchmark assessment to drive instruction and utilizes MTSS to support individual student growth to key focus areas that led to their success. Riverside School continues to excel academically with science scores rising 1.7% from last year, placing the school 25.6 points above the state average. This achievement is attributed to fostering curiosity through early grade passion projects, enhancing literacy skills across subjects, and refining the curriculum for deeper inquiry. In math, Riverside saw the highest average target growth achieved in the district at 85.8% due to intentional planning of collaborative and deep thinking strategies, small group instruction, and early intervention through our MTSS system. Central is very proud of our growth and progress in math and science over the past years. A rejuvenated effort to target instruction and use multiple data points to individualize teaching and learning has provided strong returns for students. The CMS math teachers and our math interventionists have engaged in focused collaboration across the math grades and levels to ensure students are appropriately challenged based on their skill level. Furthermore, the co-teaching model in specific grade level classes has proved beneficial for both our special education and general education students with respect to outcomes. In science, our NGSS performance remains strong as it has for the past number of years. Our science department has worked diligently to support student understanding of the science and engineering practices, specifically modeling and data analysis and interpretation. Eastern's Gators continue to exceed expectations and are consistently ranked at the top in ELA, math, and NGSS in the state across all grade levels, specifically our grade eight cohort, ranked number two in all subject areas of all middle schools in Connecticut. In fact, this cohort continued to grow and achieve year after year at EMS. The focus on growth is directly linked to our mission statement to empower, inspire, and support every student every day to maximize their fullest potential. At Western Middle School, we have continued to improve our reading interventions and classroom reading and writing instructional strategies by diving into our student data and collaborating to target the areas of growth for students at Western. In terms of parent data, we work extremely hard to communicate consistently with our parents and partner with them to address the needs of our students. In terms of staff data, the relationships between the administration and staff and the staff with one another is extremely important and our safe, safe school climate committee includes staff from multiple grades and content areas to ensure our staff has a voice and their efforts are rewarded consistently. We are proud to share the remarkable accomplishments and strides we've made at Greenwich High School. From academics to athletics and from student engagement to family connections, we have a lot to be proud of. The AVID program has demonstrated incredible success with every single senior being accepted into college. Furthermore, our students show a commitment to a well-rounded education with nearly half of them exploring their creative side through art classes and a quarter through music. 
Our students are also gaining recognition at both state and national levels from prestigious nominations like Presidential Scholars and National Merit Scholars to award-winning projects in science and history competitions. We are cultivating an environment where academic excellence thrives. Our athletic teams are equally as impressive. We've claimed multiple FCIAC and state championships. We've also seen tremendous growth in key focus areas. Our high needs students have surpassed SAT benchmarks with an impressive 55% scoring at above, at or above level three. And our overall proficiency on reading and writing sections is nearing 82%. Additionally, in science, 86% of our students performed at or above level three, showcasing the success of our NGSS aligned curriculum. We are also strengthening family school connections with over 85% of families feeling a strong bond with the school. Next, we will look at our growth and achievement metrics in ELA Math and Science before looking more closely at the high school. First up, English Language Arts Achievement. As you know, this was the first year that we assessed students using the state-mandated universal reading screening tool, Dibbles, in grades K through three. We used Dibbles to detect risk and monitor the development of early literacy skills. We also use it to evaluate how students are progressing towards grade level expectations in reading. Our K-3 students are consistently achieving at high levels and above national averages on their year end assessment. Not only are our K-3 students achieving at high levels, but we also have an impressive percentage of students making average to above average growth from the beginning to the end of the year. In grades three through five SBA achievement data over the past four years shows a positive trajectory, particularly in grades four and five, where we've seen significant gains. In grade four, there has been a steady increase from 73% in 2021 to a strong 79% in 2024. Similarly, in grade five, we have seen a consistent improvement climbing from 73% in 2021 to an impressive 81% in 2024. Although grade three experienced a slight dip this year, our achievement percentage is similar to schools in our DERG, and we anticipate continued growth in the coming years. Our SBA ELA assessment data for English language learners in grades three through five over the past four years highlights some important trends in progress. One standout achievement is the increase in students reaching proficiency at level three or four, which grew 4% from 2023 to 2024. Our SBA ELA assessment data for special education students in grades three through five over the past four years reveals positive growth, especially in students moving toward proficiency. Notably, the percentage of students reaching proficiency at level three or four has increased six percentage points from 31% in 2023 to 37% in 2024. Meanwhile, the percentage of students in level one has dropped seven points over the past four years. A clear sign that our core instruction coupled with specialized instruction is helping students move out of the lowest achievement level. Students enrolled in the ALP ELA program continue to perform at the highest levels on SBA in grades three through five. For the past two years, all students in grade three, five ALP received a four on their SBA assessment. Our grades six through eight SBA achievement data over the past four years shows steady performance and continued improvement across the board. Grade six has consistently grown with scores rising from 68% in 2021 to 74% in 2024, reflecting a solid upward trend. Grades seven and eight have maintained stable performance at 74%. Our SBA ELA assessment data for English language learners in grades six through eight over the past four years shows encouraging progress, particularly in the movement toward higher proficiency levels. Our SBA ELA assessment data for special education students in grades six through eight also show signs of steady improvement, especially in higher proficiency levels. Level four, representing students achieving the highest standards, has consistently increased over the past four years, rising from 3% in 2021 to 8% in 2024. Like their elementary ALP counterparts, students enrolled in advanced level ELA classes across the district continue to perform at the highest levels on SBA in grades six through eight. 
As we look across the past four years, we wanted to highlight and celebrate the above average achievement growth of grades four, five, and six in 2024. These three grades have achieved above average growth and four year achievement highs post COVID. Our free and reduced lunch students performed significantly better on this year's SAT, but we still have more work to do, especially within our students in special education and ESL programs. This data shows the upward trending growth for our continuing L students on their annual state assessment. GPS compares favorably to both DERG A and DERG B peers due to its strong academic performance in ELA despite more challenging demographics. When comparing GPS's growth rate in ELA amongst our neighboring districts, GPS demonstrates a favorable position despite facing more demographic challenges. Derg A districts have significantly fewer English language learners and those eligible for free and reduced lunch, yet GPS achieved an SBA growth rate of 53% higher than two Derg A districts in all Derg B districts. Despite challenges noted on the previous slides, we are proud that overall our students' scores show improved performance. We will continue to work to support growth. Please take a moment to view all of our ELA points of pride. Our grade 11 SAT results showed success with our students of high needs, improving their scores by over 10% and with an, and with an overall growth of 5.06%. Turning to math, the data from 2021 to 2024 shows a positive trend in SBA mastery levels three or four across various grades with a noteworthy overall average growth of 8%. The math SBA results for grades three through five from 2021 to 2024 demonstrate significant positive trends. For grade three, scores increased from 75 in 2021 to a high of 79 in 2023, indicating a strong upward trajectory before a slight dip to 77 in 2024, still maintaining an overall positive gain. Grade four students showed remarkable progress with scores improving steadily each year from 66 in 2021 to 80% in 2024. Similarly, grade five scores rose from 59% in 2021 to 73% in 2024. The data from grades three through five math SBA for English language learners over the past four years highlights several positive trends. I'd like to point out that level four has steadily increased from 18% in 2021 to 29% in 2024. This indicates a significant improvement in students reaching advanced proficiency. There has been a consistent decline in the percentage of students at level one, dropping from 29% in 2021 to 19% in 2024, suggesting fewer students are struggling at the lowest proficiency levels. The performance of special education students in grades three through five on the math SBA has shown promising improvement. There has been a continuous decrease in the percentage of students scoring at level one from 45% in 2021 to 29% in both 2023 and 2024. The grades three through five math SBA advanced learner program data demonstrates significant achievement outcomes. The SBA math results for grades six through eight at the middle school levels reveals a positive upward trend from 2021 to 2024. Notably, sixth grade saw a steady increase in scores from 61 in 2021 to an impressive 72% in 2024. The data for grades six through eight math SBA assessments for English language learners over the past four years shows several promising trends. Most notably, there has been a significant increase in student achievement level for proficiency, rising from 4% in 2021 to 18% in 2024. Over the past four years, the math SBA results for grades six through eight in special education have shown notable progress, particularly in the higher performance levels. There has been a consistent increase in the percentage of students achieving level four, rising from 6% in 2021 to 8% in 2024. The grade six through eight math SBA data highlights significant achievements for double advanced students over the last three years. Notably, the percentage of students at level four, the highest achievement level, consistently remains at an impressive 96% for 2023 and 24.
Our commitment to ensuring students complete algebra by grade eight has been a consistent focus for over a decade. Over the past three academic years, we have observed a slight decline in the percentage of students enrolled in successfully completing algebra by grade eight. This trend indicates a need for strengthening our pipeline that feeds to middle school and then supporting sixth and seventh graders in the single jump track. GHS Math continues to prioritize our high need students through our MTSS process and by leveraging additional support through our curriculum resources. It's important to frame all neighboring district comparisons through demographic data. Our steady achievement growth is a testament to the wonderful teachers and parents that support our entire district. When comparing GPS's growth rate math amongst our neighboring districts, GPS demonstrates a favorable position despite facing more demographic challenges. Durg A districts have significantly fewer English language learners and those eligible for free and reduced lunch, yet GPS achieved an SBA growth rate of 57%. The first year of the new digital SAT, in addition to the new adaptive nature of the testing, the College Board put a greater emphasis on Algebra II concepts. The department worked diligently to support our students. Although we were able to increase our PSAT scores for each student by an average of 30 points, we did not meet the board's goal. Please take a moment to review our math points of pride. I'd like to highlight that the district boasts an all-time aggregate achievement rate of 73% for grades 3 through 8. Notably, students in grades 3 through 5 have shown a remarkable average improvement of 10 percentage points. Meanwhile, students in grades 6 to 8 have all demonstrated solid progress with an average increase of 6 percentage point. Turning to science. The Greenwich High School Science Department exceeded their goal with approximately 86% of students at or above level 3. We've seen an impressive growth rate in NGSS achievement levels across multiple grades. Grade 5 scores have risen steadily from 65 to 74%, reflecting a robust 9-point increase. Grade 8 also made remarkable strides, achieving a peak of 76 in 2024. Notably, grade 11 rebounded to an impressive 86%, showcasing resilience and commitment to excellence. Over the past three years, our English language learner students in grades 5 and 8 have shown remarkable progress in their proficiency levels on the NGSS assessments. In grade 5, we witnessed a significant increase in level 3 and level 4 proficiency, with 14% reaching level 4 in 2024. Our special education students in grades 5 and 8 have shown encouraging growth in their NGSS assessment results over the last three years. For grade 5, there was a notable increase in students achieving level 3 and level 4 proficiency, with 11% reaching level 4 in 2024, an all-time high. Our ALP science students continue to perform strong on their science assessments. This trend continues in grade 8, with advanced science students showing increasing achievement at level 4 in 2024. We see there has been a positive trend of students who are English language learners, with 52% of students receiving a 3 or 4 on the NGSS assessment, an increase of 17 percentage points from the previous school year. Special education scores on the grade 11 NGSS assessment have improved significantly. In 2021, only 9% of students reached the highest proficiency level, but by 2024 that increased to 12%, with 46% reaching level 3. From 2021 to 2024, our NGSS cohort data reveals impressive growth in student mastery levels. Current ninth graders have increased their mastery from 65.3% to 76.1%, achieving a notable 10.8% growth. Even more remarkable, our current 12th graders have surged from 63.3% to 86%, reflecting a phenomenal 22.7% increase. Growth continues in grade 5 achievement compared with our neighboring peers. We are excited to celebrate this success, especially given the truncated number of instructional minutes GPS is able to allocate to science in grade 5. Despite a small dip in our overall achievement in grade 8, we continue to outpace our DIRG counterparts. We are excited to share that Greenwich High School ranked third in our local district comparisons this year. The science department continues to see success in all areas of science. 
innovative teaching and learning, and achievement of our special education and language learner populations. The points of Science Pride are directly influenced by the incredible efforts of the K-5 classroom, ALP, and 612 science teachers across the district. Next up, we'll look a bit closer at some additional metrics at Greenwich High School. 48% of our 11th and 12th graders are enrolled in two or more AP courses, demonstrating their commitment to rigorous collegiate level academics. Additionally, 67% of these students are taking at least one honors course, showing that even outside of AP, a majority of our upperclassmen are pushing themselves with challenging coursework. 39% of our 11th and 12th graders are enrolled in career and tech ed courses where they gain practical skills that prepare them for future careers. Additionally, 32% of our juniors and seniors are taking early college experience courses. More students at GHS took the AP language exam than any other AP. Our AP Spanish test numbers are trending up, closer to pre-COVID numbers. Our Spanish AP scores are well above three, the score that students need to earn the seal of biliteracy. A world language goal for the 2023-24 school year was to increase the amount of students enrolled in AP classes. As evidenced by the charts, we were able to accomplish that goal in Chinese, French, and both Spanish language and Spanish literature courses. The Social Studies Department continues to administer the greatest number of AP exams at GHS, with students taking 1,075 AP exams this year. The following courses had average score increases. AP Comparative Politics, AP United States Government, AP United States History, and AP Psychology. GHS AP Music Theory scores had 100% of students score at a, a level 3 or above, with the mean score of 4.33 compared to Connecticut State mean of 3.17. GHS Science continues to excel in the AP exams. Both, both AP Biology and AP Chemistry have shown a strong performance over the last three years. Let's look at the AP scores in Environmental Science and Physics 1. In AP Environmental Science, the mean score improved from 3.3 in 2022 to 3.71 in 2024. In AP Physics 1, we saw a remarkable increase in the mean score from 3.97 to 4.29. In AP Physics C, the mean score increased from 4.32 in 2022 to 4.47 in 2024. In AP Physics C, Electricity and Magnetism also saw a remarkable improvement, jumping from 2.91 to 4.43. We are thrilled to report significant growth in advanced placement participation in scores within the Math and Computer Science Department. Computer Science continues to be a point of pride at GHS. This year marks a milestone with the successful rollout of AP Precalculus. We were the only district in Fairfield County that did a full implementation. We are incredibly proud of the 189 students who took the exam, achieving an outstanding average score of 4.87. The data is suppressed when few students take AP exams, protect privacy, and prevent individual performance from being easily identifiable. Let's turn our attention to the Strategic Plan 2028. In year one of implementation of our strategic plan, we have many areas in reading achievement and growth to celebrate. We exceeded our stretch goals for SBA achievement for five-year fourth graders, as well as SAT achievement for our high-needs students, which include special education, ELL, and free or reduced lunch. While we didn't meet our stretch goals for fourth through eight SBL, SBA ELA growth, we ranked number eight in the state for our growth rate, the highest achieving school in the state achieved a 58% ELA growth rate. This is an important goal for us and we will continue to work to support the growth of all students in the area of reading. Also, while we didn't meet the stretch goal for SBA achievement for five-year eighth graders, we saw a positive increase of two percentage points from last year, which is a great start towards our five-year goals. Our math SBA growth remained steady. This was in fact a victory given the personnel challenges we faced throughout the 2023-24 school year. While it holds true for every content, math is extremely sensitive to teachers out on leave for extended periods of time. Despite the staffing challenges, we maintained our performance and are quite proud of this. We fell short of our Algebra 1 stretch goal this year. Remember, our goal is not only to have students enrolled in the course, but also successfully pass it. This means we need to build strong capacity toward a single jump course 
well before middle school. Our all-time highest BA scores in grade four, five, and six indicate our pipeline of students rising through the grades will lead to this percentage increase. We had another great year, our aggregate SBA performance. As shown previously, we outpaced the DERG A and DERG B, except for one. As noted previously, we did not make the growth that we had expected during the 23-24 school year. The content changes in the SAT and the new format decreased results across the state. Our decline was less, however, than the state average, but not at all acceptable to us. We expect that as we continue to implement curricular improvements and the percentage of students taking Algebra 1 in 8th grade, we will perform at a higher level on the SAT. Grades 5 and 8 science surpass our 2024 goals, and we are incredibly proud of that. The Greenwich High School Science Department exceeded their goal with approximately 86% of students at or above level 3. Our official data for graduation rate will be reported back in December. GPS is extremely proud of our family, student, and staff survey results. The district is well above the targeted goal by 10% in all three areas surveyed. These are the highest results GPS has received to date. In addition, GPS continues to see a high rate of response. There were 3,225 individuals who took the family survey. Over 90% of the GPS parents are satisfied with their schools. One of the most impressive metrics this past year was the increase in the number of parents who are feeling more confident in knowing how to help their children at home. GPS has put in a great amount of effort to provide more workshops, seminars, and forward-facing curriculum information to assist families. Secondary parent surveys are always a little more challenging given that the parents are not connected to the school in the same way as they were in elementary. However, both grades 6 through 8 and 9 through 12 saw an increase this year and reached an outstanding result of 84.7% and 83% respectively. The elementary student survey was solid this year, maintaining at 83.9% for students' sense of belonging. It was excellent to see an increase in, gear in grades six through eight and hold steady in high school for student sense of belonging. The increase in grades six through eight was excellent and is now just shy of a 70% satisfaction rate. While elementary staff results fell this year, there was disparity between buildings with increases and decreases, which throws off the average. Overall, the results were very strong. It was great this year to see grades six, six through eight go up in the staff survey by 3.8% and GHS go up by approximately 1%. It is great news that overall in elementary and secondary, we had 915 staff members take our end of the year survey, demonstrating strong rate of return. The district has worked hard to make the survey accessible. And as a result, there were 316 more staff who took the survey than in the spring of 2021. As part of the redesign of this presentation, we have included additional data historically requested by the Board of Education. Our aim is to ensure transparency and provide comprehensive data that allows for a clear and informed understanding of the district's performance. By offering this level of detail, we seek to highlight both the successes and challenges within Greenwich Public Schools, enabling a more accurate assessment of our progress in areas for growth. The information provided in the data locker will be made available as an appendix in this report. On behalf of the entire administrative leadership team, we look forward to a robust conversation at the Board of Education retreat on October 17th. Thanks for listening.